You're a mother, strung out on drugs, struggling on the streets of Cleveland, thirsty for hope. This is the story for many women in our area. And one woman decided to be their light and help them find a new way of living. She's making Cleveland a better land. Yolanda, you know we're walking the streets where a lot of women are struggling to survive because of their drug use. And here it is, your home is sort of like a haven of hope for them in the midst of their darkness. Yes, it is. And I am very proud to be a part of it to get these ladies off the streets. Off the streets and up these steps to Mommy and Me Too, a place that welcomes drug addicted mothers and their children on their journey to recovery and healing. A story that Yolanda Green knows well because she too struggled with drugs as a mother. Because I had nowhere to go with my child, a safe place. I kept getting out of treatment. but then I would go to the old places and I would return to use. So it was very important for me to provide safe place for women with their children. Yolanda used to work at a local treatment center and used her resources to hire staff to manage her seven homes, most of which are in long-term recovery, so they understand what the mothers are going through. For the most part, they they come in and they're very the anxiety is high. Uh, they come in with a lot of shame because of their using and their past, and they want to be a mom. They just don't know how. Even though I had my son, I wasn't parenting him. You know, in active addiction, I was just allowing him to survive. He's the one who made it. Jaleesa Howard says she was lost and broken when she found Mommy and Me Too. But through counseling, parenting classes, and a structured daily routine, she and her son, Tremere, are on the right track. I didn't know that I didn't even know who I was. Um, the person I thought I was is not the person that I am. And I'm, every day I'm getting to learn to know who I am. But since I've been clean and been working a program and understanding the disease of addiction, I realize it's more than just the wanting to stop. Because for a very long time I wanted to stop, but I just physically and mentally couldn't. Witnessing the transformation process of her residents affirms Yolanda's mission to help these hurting mothers and their children. I can just look back when I was a part of the problem right in this same area and to come back and give to the community and help someone and just maybe that person would have died if they didn't have a place to go with the overdose rates being. So it really makes me feel good and it, 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 and it just motivates me more. Today, Jaleesa and Tremere have high hopes for a bright future. Mommy and Me Too rescued them from the darkness of drug addiction and ushered in a whole new way of living. So if it wasn't for Mommy and Me Too. If it wasn't for Mommy and Me Too, I would be dead. Such a great program. Yolanda has opened another house for men. It's called Fathers Matter Too, to help men who are struggling with addiction and want to be good fathers to their children. For more information on this story, you can go to our website and our News 5 app.